Hello, welcome. Um, in this video, we're going to perform the operation and reduce the answer fully to this expression, which simply means we're going to subtract these two fractions. That's what it means. So why don't you pause the video, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to talk about it. All right, so I look at this problem and I know we're going to get a negative result. I know that because a fourth of something is more than a sixth of something. So we're taking away more than we start with. So the only, and the only thing that could happen when you do that is you would get a negative result. But not to worry, this really, the approach here is gonna be the same for most subtraction problems where we look at the two denominators, write out multiples of each. In this case, it's nice and easy. Um, oops. 4, 8, 12. 6 and 12 have equal multiples at 12. The second multiple of 6 is 12, so we can scale up a sixth by multiplying by 2 over 2. And the third multiple of 4 is 12, so we can multiply it by 3 over 3. What does this do? Well, it gets us 2 over 12. We multiply. Right? At 1, 6 is the same as 2 over 12. And minus 3 over 12. Now, what's going to happen here? Well, we subtract the two top numbers, 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, and it's out of 12. So we're done. There's nothing to reduce here. 1 and 12 have no common factors other than 1. Uh, but a little bit of a background here on, on how to deal with 2 minus 3. So if you're, if you're dealing with this situation, 2 minus 3, and you want to know what the answer is, my favorite way to think about it is to switch it, to think, okay, well, what's 3 minus 2? To switch it around. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 2 minus 3, if you look at the answer, we can see it's the same as 3 minus 2, but it's the opposite value. Instead of a positive 1, it's a negative 1. Now, this always works. And if you look at other examples, like let's say you wanted to figure out, I don't know, 10 minus 15. Well, what I would first do is find what's 15 minus 10. 15 minus 10 is 5. So 10 minus 15, you can see, is the opposite of that. So in general, if you're, if you're dealing with a subtraction problem, like a, even a harder one, like 12 minus 21, well, first I would find what's 21 minus 12, which is, that's 9. And then I could say, okay, well, 12 minus 21 would be the opposite of that. Instead of positive 9, it's negative 9. And a lot of this has to do with the way uh, positive and negatives are opposites. I'm not going to dive into it too deeply here. I just wanted to point that pattern out because I think it's rather helpful. All right, thank you.